Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Clipptoff. So last episode we focused on the central part of the town, the marketplace. We built up some more housing, especially on all these different angles as well. And we also built one of my favourite buildings in this little village which is the chapel. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Anyway guys what are we going to be getting onto this episode? It is my favourite part of all of these builds which is always the castle. I just feel that it always finishes off everything and just yeah it just looks great you know where is the lord going to be you know where's the defence uh, and everybody loves castles let's be honest. So one of the things I wanted to do with this is actually kind of explain how I'm building the castle as well as um, you know showing you guys what I'm doing. So I've got a lot of pink wool, magenta wool everybody knows that's been watching me for a long long time I always use magenta wool for this. So I was building the, just the base kind of structure of it. Uh, so we've got kind of like an outer wall we've got a bailey inside that and then we've got another gatehouse and then another gatehouse and then you get into the actual main keep. So that's the kind of idea behind it. Um, now there's lots of different reasons for this of course the bailey that's where you can have like certain buildings in my case I kind of like was thinking more um, because it's very very small just having you know like a stable and some sort of training area um, but yeah then you can get into the next bit it also means that you know if they even if they get through the outside walls you've got another layer of defense and then with the gatehouse as well with the double gatehouse uh, it makes it so much more defensible. So as we got here is just the front gates, I decided to do them at a 45 degree angle, it just fit. I tried to do it flat at first but it just didn't work. Then after that, after you get through it, we've got a sharp turn, so if they did have a batting round or something like that, they would have to make that turn and usually they're not very manoeuvrable. So another key bit of defence that then gets you to the, the kind of the gatehouse. And from here I'm planning on putting in a portcullis. We've then got this kind of like death zone here where if you did get trapped there, you're in trouble, you can get fired upon on every different angle. Then having another portcullis and then after that I'm planning on having like a big kind of door, you know, wooden door and that's the final kind of step until you get into the Great Hall. So yeah, coming on to the outside it was time to actually start building this up. Obviously what I did is I replaced all of the magenta wall with a nice brush. So it made, made, mostly made out of uh, stone brick and we got, you know, cracked stone brick, mossy stone brick. Uh, we got some normal stone and also some andesite as well mixed in. Uh, but yeah, with this, what I want to do with the angle is actually I decided to do something that I don't usually do, which is start the design on the angle, and then you kind of have to figure it out from there and build up. Um, what I want to do is have similar towers to what we had on the kind of like front, where we've got those guard kind of houses, those watch towers. But I want it to also feel quite different, so I want it to feel a little bit more, um, actually, surprisingly, a bit cheaper as well. So on some of them, so they're actually cheaper. They're more straight. Uh, they've got less kind of like shape to them on a lot of them. Um, because they're the outer towers, you know, this is where, if there was a ship that had cannons, this is where they'd get battered, obviously if there is cannons, uh, in a bit of trouble anyway. Um, and then yeah, just building around the sides here, so really getting like a nice curtain wall, and with different tower designs, so with these different ones where we've got, uh, ones with the kind of like roof, and um, we've got these other ones which are completely open as well, I wanted to have a good mix uh, with those, and also, you know, it just kind of adds a bit of um, flavour to the entire build as well, so we've got that there. And I was pretty happy with uh, how it actually turned out with those two walls. And it also allowed me to play around a lot with the design uh, and make it look really, really cool. So coming around to the side here, um, actually one of the things I didn't plan is actually have this kind of like green patch here. Uh, but what I've decided to do is kind of like make another another bailey, like another courtyard, uh, which is just outside of the uh, kind of like main hall or grand hall. Um, and that's going to have like a little garden in it. So that was the kind of idea behind, behind that. But if again, if we are in the age of canon, then that's where you'd have a load of cannons would be pretty perfect. So coming over to the gatehouse, so like I was saying, uh, with this one we're going to have a portcullis. It meant I had to do a little bit of restructure because what I wanted to do as well is make sure that it's actually, um, well I say functional but obviously it doesn't actually work. But if it was going to work, you know, the actual blocks are in place, you know, it's got the counterweight, uh, and it's got the kind of like, um, uh, the main bit that can actually lift it and turn and all that kind of bit. The mechanism is there is the idea. Uh, so then coming into here you can see me putting in the other uh, kind of portcullis for that part and then you just briefly see the door. But what I wanted to get onto is the great hall and build in here and I decided to kind of actually do quite a bit of the interior before putting the roof on. The reason being I was actually thinking um, interior wise you know I want to make sure everything lines up and it kind of works otherwise I have to do some restructuring uh, especially with putting a roof on. So with this grand hall we've got quite a lot of archways so lots of uh, kind of like beams to hold up and, and spread the weight out. 
Um, so I think I went with five blocks in total going across, so it's quite small, relatively small. Um, but it kind of worked perfectly for it. And there you go, you can see me now putting the roof on, so this all kind of like tied into those beams that we did underneath. Uh, and actually doing that really, really helped with the entire design. So then just coming onto the side here, just building up these towers. These towers obviously have, you know, dual purpose. They're, they are towers for defence, but also we can put a lot of the living quarters in these as well. So this is kind of like hanging off that main hall uh, area here. And for this small tower that I've got uh, right at the back here, I actually decided to make this into uh, like a lighthouse. Because um, I didn't know what else to do with it really, and that just, it just fits perfectly when you get to see that a little later on. So you can see me just putting in more details with these on the side here. So this is one of the Lord's Towers, this is one of the bigger ones. Uh, so it's a 7x7 seven seven tower, so 5x5 five five interior. Uh, it's still not huge, but um, yeah, it's quite big. And I also want to have it have it have a nice balcony on the side here. Uh, and I do actually tweak the balcony design uh, way later on. I come in when I was doing the interior, uh, and actually I wanted to tweak it quite a bit. So yeah, coming on to that side. And then also just building up these different levels as well on the sides and using the different tower designs again. Uh, it's something that I thought was really good. Uh, you can also see uh, on the side there, that is actually a toilet. That little bit that's on the side, uh, on, on that little bit there, right in between the two towers, that is the toilet area. So I've actually got two on the castle, which um, uh, I kind of thought about afterwards and actually had a look at how, you know, where they would actually sit and um, yeah, decided to go with those. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this part is really looking. I think it looks really good, quite polished. So like I was saying within the Bailey, uh, one of the things I had planned was some stables. So, you know, where is the Lord uh, going to come? Where is his knights going to you know, park up their rides? So this was like the perfect spot. And then in the back area, I wanted to build an archery range so that they can actually obviously practice archery. But also this area can be packed away and tents can be put up if there's extra troops stationed in the village. So having a look over the entire build, what we've got of course is the gatehouse. So this is the first layer of defence. And we've got the archery range and the stables in the bailey. Now at an angle with this road, we then go to the main keeps gatehouse. So this is where we get met by a portcullis. And we can have things drop down on us. We then go into this murder zone, another portcullis, and then the main wooden door. And then we get into the great keep. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. I just think it looks awesome. Um, it's just quite cool. So if we have a look at the back now, what we'll actually get to see is all of the towers all finished up uh, with all the bits of detail on them. And I'm just really like happy with how this actually turned out. It's totally different to what I actually had in my head. But as you can see, that initial plan and kind of like building on that side of being able to split it up into the different towers and the different shapes, that actually allowed me to build from there. But I'm really, really happy with just, just how it looks. The look of the, the kind of castle is different to anything that I've done before. Um, but yeah, it has this like just uniqueness to it, sat on top of this cliff, you know, defending the bay. Uh, but yeah, so happy with how it turned out. You can just about see the garden in the back there as well. But anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.